Oh, wow. Wow. Right. Well, then there's Charleston White, who got jumped on stage. Was it in Texas? Yeah. Now, I remember you had called me and you said, hey, man, um, as as a friend, I'm asking you not to interview Charleston anymore because he said some shit about my kids. Yeah. But what did he say about your kids? I mean, he was, yeah, he was just, you know, he just going at all kind of shit about my about my son, all kind of shit, you know. Yeah, I, I remember Charleston when I when I said that I'm not rocking with him anymore. He made a YouTube video said, I, "I hope your Vlad, I hope your babies die." Yeah. He actually got got on the internet and said that, yeah. and he likes to say, "Well, I'm just playing a character." Pump your brakes. Make sure y'all hit that thumbs up. That's the like button. Also hit the notification bell. That way you get notifications from me every time I drop this hot ish off the press. Now here we go. Oh wow. Oh wow. Damn. So Charleston White and Boosie, yeah, get into it again. And this is what Charleston White got to say, and it's on the picture at the bottom, y'all. Read along with me. So little Boosie making threats. I've already contacted law enforcement. Oh, Lord, here you go. That's contacted law enforcement ish again. Did we find out that he get them boys locked up on old block and he was just bluffing? Because Charles White ain't nobody paperwork, but y'all claim he the most police ever because he claims it himself right here. And what else he says? Okay, law enforcement concerning these possible threats against my life. And he tagged V. Ladin. Wow. He also had this to say. Well, matter of fact, he showed some Texas. Now, I don't really get what he's saying on this. I don't know if he's texting the promoter. I'm about to tell you guys about. Well, let me get there first then. Let's just go right there. So basically, Charleston White was supposed to have a show in Baton Rouge. And Boosie called threatening the promoter and told him what? Don't let him perform or I'm going to do this or that to you. I guess he, yeah, the promoter was a scary ninja. Yeah. And hit Charleston White up with the Texas like, oh, yeah, we can't do that. Boosie said, oh, uh, yeah, he going to do this and that. Yeah, so you know, a lot of promoters not street. They just got a little bag and put plays together. And Bootsy, yeah, get an order. Don't mess with him, and he do. He fears for his life. But these are some of the texts that's coming up right here, right now. Oh, oh. Uh. So of course, Charleston White had to what post that he's talking to a Baton Rouge promoter. Yeah, on his eyes. <laughs> yeah, that way. But uh, this is the talk. Please give me a call ASAP. Give me a call. One second. And I had witnesses who were on the phone when you made the initial call. So, um, I believe, uh, yeah, the blue should be Charleston White, right? I don't know, y'all. But I just told y'all, it's about a damn call. Yeah, Boosie made threatening the promoter. Yeah. That if he let Charleston White perform, it's on. Yeah, that way so, of course, at this point, Charleston White, yes, is on his police ish. He's going to send Boosie to jail. He's saying, you guys, he's just waiting on the FBI to get back with him. Yeah. And he has the phone call. Yeah. When the promoter would basically tell him everything that Boosie did or told him, yeah, not to do or we're going to come over there and see about you. Yeah. Charleston White say he has that, you know, and uh, also Charleston White calls out the promoter. Scary ass ninja, yeah. <laughs> you know how he talk, but you know I got the footage for y'all. You know I like to talk first. You know, just like the what the intro, <laughs> yeah. That way, hey, this I am super cool. Y'all what y'all rocking me for? Y'all want to hear me talk my ish and play they ish, yeah. That way, and uh, voice my opinion. And matter of fact, y'all can voice your opinion too in the comments, respectfully, cause I curse a bitch out. Yeah, that way. Now let's proceed. So Charleston White is basically yeah, still calling Boosie out like you want. You don't want to fight. Charleston White want to fight Bootsy so bad, y'all. I guess Aiden Ross got uh, his, uh, you know, his boxing little thing going on. And I guess they're trying to get bigger. And what big fight would it be? I mean, if we're going to sit there and watch, uh, what's his name? Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. Who wouldn't watch Charleston White and Bootsy? <laughs> you know what I mean? Which I don't think going to happen. Then he also did a crack at Bootsy Health. Yeah. 
talk, calling them diabetic, uh, sick, something. Y- y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see. But make sure y'all use that thing in, yeah, your head. It's called the mind. Yeah, knock on it. I don't think y'all heard that. Yeah, that's where it's at. In the middle of your eyebrow. Use that in the thing. Yeah. A lot of this stuff is just entertainment, y'all. You know, get up, get out, and get something every day. Put something towards your dream every day. If you got a job with somebody else and your plan is to what? Maybe you do what I do, like YouTubing or, uh, you know, uh, what? Train for a boxing match or whatever. Make sure you put, you know, something towards, some momentum towards your own goals, you know? Make your own self, put your own self in position, you know? And, you know, plant a seed, it has to grow. Keep watering it every day. You know, I like to give y'all, yeah, the use your mind thing because that's what I really want y'all to do. You know, above all the content I got to put around and dress it up. I mean, use your mind. Don't be caught up in this matrix world and not doing ish. Just stuck in place like a hamster on a wheel. No, we ain't doing that. We're going to do what? Get out. Get up. Get out and get something. That's right. Because that way I am super team. Is, I am super cool team is all about. And that includes you if you don't know. I appreciate all the love, the support. Uh, Hit 10K uh, last month. I'm at 10.5. I appreciate y'all help me get to a hundred. <laughs> I know we still listen, listen, listen. I know it's like we fall off, but one time I was at a thousand, thing and ten was long. And now we're here. We can do it. Make sure y'all uh yeah, share the video as well. You know, your other, you know, sources. Help your boy out, you know. I'm gonna start putting me some money behind uh advertising now. You know, uh I think YouTube, I can got don't hit the button and put a budget behind it. I didn't know I had all those options, I just figured that out. And yeah, if I got the 10K without no, you know, with the help of y'all, <laughs> you know, with no promotion, I mean, I'm, I must be doing something right. And make sure y'all doing something right, like I say, towards y'all dreams every day. But let's get back to the bullshit. But, you know, I already told y'all, use your mind and think. As you, or did I? I'm telling you not. I'm telling you not. Yeah. But as you use that mind and think, make sure you remind yourself every day that you are somebody. Now I'm going now, huh? The same way I came in. Oh, wow. Enjoy the content. See, I'm going to put your motherfucking ass in jail, nigga. I'm every boy, I'm a boy, you making threats to the promoter? I got a recorded phone conversation with witnesses on the phone saying the promoter is scared for his life that he got to live in Baton Rouge that Boosie go send them people to get you. He said he can't have the show because Boosie goes, I said, nigga, I just hired the police. The promoter scary. Scary ass nigga. Yeah, nigga, Boosie is a hoe. And I bet he don't want to get in that boxing ring. See, Boosie, you going to try to send somebody, but you ain't going to do nothing, bitch ass nigga. I'm going to put your bitch ass in jail, nigga. I'm waiting for the FBI to send me the right kind of number, nigga, because I'm going to make a report on your motherfucking ass to the people and you make the man the man call your name specifically the promoter specifically says your motherfucking name little boosie he implemented you and implicated you bitch ass nigga you finna go to jail back to jail you gonna be on your knees but them knees gonna be bleeding again diabetic freak my baby dragon said send some cash out so he eat good like he eat every day yeah send some cash apps what's your cash app Dollar sign, I A M S U P A K O O L. Don't y'all want to see his beard grow? Look how you looking around. Look, yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm trying to get you some money. Where's turd at the new one? Look how big his turd is, though, y'all. Come on now, come on now. Show some love for the better dragon. He trying to get a bigger uh tank. <laughs> wow.